Father, we pray once again and commit all the students unto your blood. Dear parents, may you grant them financial stability in order to take care of these young ones in their stay here on campus in the name of Jesus. We pray once again and commit ourselves unto the blood of the Lord. The mountains of confusion that we pray that the Lord will grant us joy in able to perform in our academics in the name of Jesus. Mountains of confusion, we subdue them by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray once again that Lord, send forth your spirit to come and take dominion control over this noble matriculation this day. That any mountain that shall arise and fight against us, Lord, we mute and subdue by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father Lord, we pray that at the end of this matriculation and nothing bad happens, we will say you are the Lord that has done it. We ask this prayer through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wal aqibatu lil muttaqeen, wa la udwana illa ala al-zhalimeen. Wa salatu wa salamu al-atamani al-akmalani ala al-rukni al-a'zam, afdol man taqwaddama wa man taakhar, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ghurri al-mayameen. Indeed, all thanks and praises are due to Allah, the Almighty, the one who has made this occasion possible the one who has resurrected us from our sleep, and we have gathered here to grace this particular occasion. We pray that Allah the Almighty be with us from the beginning of this program to the end of this program. Allah the Almighty, we thank him so much for all the favors that he has bestowed upon us. We pray that Allah the Almighty, the, our level hundreds, he protect and guide them. May Allah the Almighty protect and guide them from in this school. May Allah the Almighty grant them the requisite knowledge to be able to excel. All of us as students, may Allah the Almighty protect and guide us and grant us sharp and retentive memories. We pray for the administration of this school. May Allah the Almighty protect and guide it. Any decision that we take to send this school to a higher level, may Allah the Almighty grant them that knowledge and wisdom. May Allah the Almighty protect and guide us all. And in the end, we will send Thanks to He, Allah the Almighty. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmanir Rahim. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina s-sirat al-mustaqim s-sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim Ghayri al-mawdubi alayhim wal-abdallin Ameen On behalf of the University Management and Academic Board, I declare 2021-2022 academic year matriculation ceremony duly constituted. I will now invite Professor Philip Duku Osei, the Vice Chancellor of the University, to deliver the matriculation address. Thank you.
it's on. Approve Vice Chancellor. Registrar. Members of the Academic Board. Director, Finance, Deans, and other directors. Heads of Department, University Librarian, Senior Members, Senior and Junior Staff, the Media, Matriculants, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning. I am particularly delighted for a day like this and wish to use this great opportunity to welcome you all to the second matriculation ceremony of the SD Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. To those visiting this beautiful university for the very first time, I wish to inform you that you have come to the gem of the Upper West, the complex institution that has been established to lead in the development of the region because it hosts a powerhouse of intellectuals and professionals who are fit for purpose. The complexity I have just alluded to inheres in the nature of the institution itself. It is neither old nor new, but part of it dates back to 30 years ago, while its recent forms are barely two years old and empowered and legitimized by the SD Dombo University Charter of 2019. Freshmen and women, your lecturers are here, fully back to work, and vowed to not allow anything mundane can come between you and them. This is the assurance that we have received from the UBITS Utah group on your behalf. The staff of this university are temperamentally well-placed and warm. They were now our overlord, Bamahuna, and the people of Wa and the region are also warm and nice people. The environment is cozy and conducive for academic and intellectual discourse. My dear matriculants, you are in for an amazing journey here and you will not regret choosing the SD Dombo as your first choice. Uh, we cannot zoom into talking about the important local things that concern our university without first engaging in some discourse on political economy. The government of Ghana is aware of the vast de developmental needs of the northern part of Ghana and have in the wisdom of the President of the Republic, establish the SD Dombo University here in the Upper West and given us a broad mandate to provide practically based education in integrated development studies, business, planning, land management, social sciences, informatics, and law. The legislators of the Republic also knew that physically, we will not be contained in their powers. So they allowed us to operate from other sites as our governing council will consider it fit. 
We are therefore joined online today in this ceremony by our students in Bogatanga and Tamale, mostly weekend MBA students, so that their names, activities, and prowess may also be recorded in the annals of this great university. You are all welcome to this ceremony. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony marks the official entry of 4,372 students into the university as junior members. And it's an invaluable program of the university without which no one can graduate. May I use this opportunity to congratulate our students who made it through the various selection process. It may interest you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that the university has had to refuse the application of over 1,200 students or potential students and applicants who for various reasons did not meet the necessary requirements. Out of the total of 4,372, the percentage of males is 68%, the number 2,976, and 32% are female. And the number here is 1,396. Uh, Postgraduates admitted are 559, out of which the weekend MBA constitutes 265. We are still working towards gender equality in our selection process. And we look forward to achieving this mandate eventually in the next few years. In terms of the details, the School of Business has 1,065, Faculty of Integrated Development Studies 460, Faculty of ICT 539, Faculty of Social Sciences and Arts, 339. Faculty of Public Policy and Governance, 294. School of Education and Lifelong Learning is 1,129. And Faculty of Planning and Land Management is 546. Dear matriculants, it is statutory that you swear an oath and also solemnly declare your unflinching loyalty to the SD Donbo University. Permit me to quote the presence of our great nation. You are to be citizens and not spectators. It is not expected of good citizens to vandalize property, steal the investor's property, break laws with impunity. Rather, I encourage you to use the appropriate channels in expressing any grievances you may have in your life on campus. You will be required to strictly adhere to the rules and regulations of this university throughout your stay. And I cannot overemphasize this point. Degrees, as we know, are awarded not only for academic excellence, but also for good character. And anyone who falls foul of this must think twice because you might be a first class candidate 
and you will lose your certificate without the good character element added to it. I also want you to uh, look closely at our motto, leadership, excellence, and development. These are values that we have carefully selected to enhance the image of the university and to empower us to do a lot to be more competitive than our colleagues elsewhere. You are also expected to sign a matriculation register, which we call the matricula after this ceremony. This would formally signify that you have become fully admitted as students of the SD Dombo University. If anyone refuses to register, he or she will not be recognized as a student of this university. And you know how important this register is because someone could be challenging your educational status and where you eventually come to verify is the matricula. It has happened to high level political leaders when they are being challenged. And it is so very vital that every student makes it a point to sign the matricula. Looking forward, the establishment of faculties or new faculties. My dear freshmen and women, I am delighted to inform you that the UBITS has introduced new schools and faculties by realigning programs under appropriate schools. Our program and institutional accreditation have been renewed by the SWAL National Accreditation Board. Many new programs, including law, ICT, environmental resource management, hospitality and tourism have been prepared and are now under consideration by the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. We are hoping that when these have been accredited eventually, this will offer you additional opportunities in the selection of programs and in the choice of careers. The following are the schools, the new schools that we want to establish very firmly. Faculty of Social Science and Arts, School of Education and Lifelong Learning, Faculty of Information and Communication Technology, and Faculty of Public Policy and Governance. We want these schools to grow and produce the most competitive students and graduates so that it will be worthwhile all the effort that the professors are putting in. We also, as SD Dombo, offer a conducive environment for academic work. Ladies and gentlemen, the university management is very much aware of the infrastructure deficits on campus and are therefore working hard and looking diligently to ensure that all uncompleted projects are fully executed to provide more office and lecture spaces for effective teaching and learning. The UBITS in the last quarter, in the first quarter, sorry, in the last quarter of 2021, took occupancy of the current administration block from our contractor and have since furnished the rooms that were previously residential accommodation to staff. 
and we've turned them into directorates and offices of the central administration. So now, students of SZ Dombo are able to locate the Upper West as well, Upper West Hall as well, which has been turned to administration block for the various faculties. This is where you receive all the services needed to facilitate your learning and development here. Your university is not least among the public universities in Ghana. The president of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Kufuado, visited us recently during my investiture on 20th January, 2022, and has assured us certain, certain contribution of the government to the infrastructure development on this campus. We take solace also in the soon to return national tax yields to help us realize this promise of seed money from the government. We have set up the Works and Municipal Services Department to see to the beautification of campus, aside from supervising the physical infrastructure projects. Those of you who live on campus, you would have noticed that your halls of residence which from 2007 had not received the needed maintenance has now been refurbished and painted. And additional improvements have been scheduled and contractors are being reviewed for the award of contracts as we speak. Our aim has been to make living in the halls of residence a lot more exciting and healthy. We have put in place an Office of Students Accommodation under the Office of the Dean of Students that will gather information on hostels and accommodation that are available in town to help students make better choices of where to stay when they are on campus or when the university is in session. Safety and security. I must say with a profound joy that the collaboration between the university and the various landlords to provide hostel facilities to students is much appreciated. However, it must be stated that students should not be oblivious of the safety and security while staying in these facilities. Dear freshmen and women, I am aware that you were briefed on security and safety tips during your orientation by the police, fire service, and other agencies. I urge you to put all that you learned into practice. And now my advice to freshmen and women. Dear freshmen and women, in a few years time, we will all gather again for your graduation ceremony. I therefore admonish you to make good use of the opportunities afforded you by your parents, guardians, spouses, and anyone who has contributed to your coming to this university. By taking your lectures seriously, you should shun all forms of deviant behaviors and other social vices. The university will be looking out for good conduct and will not hesitate to sanction any corporate. Be reminded also that the oath 
you will be taking today requires you to be obedient to all those in authority and to be of good conduct throughout your stay on campus. Let me say a bit about the COVID-19. On the 15th of March, international news indicated that China was still struggling in containing the COVID virus and that over 5,000 persons had been newly infected. Some countries of the European Union are also not out of the woods yet. And though the numbers in Ghana have been appreciably low, once again, I charge you to strictly adhere to the COVID-19 protocols in order to stay safe and also get yourself vaccinated so that you'll be completely protected. I also implore you, those of you who ride on campus to ensure that you put on your crash helmets. This is a requirement. Let me underline the word requirement. I have seen a host of you riding on campus without your helmets. It is against Ghana's laws for you to be riding obliviously without putting on your helmets. It is essential because it is these helmets that will protect your head in case there is an accident. So we'll take this very seriously and observe it accordingly. We have put a police post on campus working with the commander of the region and it is functional at the moment. So we expect that anything suspicious that you see will be reported to the police first. They are located at the main gate. There's a sign there which shows you which of the buildings there is a police post. And we expect that you make use of that police post. You also report anything suspicious to your hall authorities and to any, public, any uh, university officer when you see anything going so very badly. Let me conclude. It is my sincere prayer that the almighty God will watch over us, especially in these trying times of COVID-19 and the fallout on the economy of the Republic of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. May the good Lord prosper us and make us very productive for our families, society, and the country as a whole and the world at large. Once again, congratulations for being ushered in as junior members of the SD Dombo University. Since you selected the UBIS as your tertiary education institution of choice, we are determined to serve you and provide you with the excellent academic training that you deserve. We are going to depend on you though to effectively use the available endogenous resources to transform yourselves to influence Ghanaian business startups by being the generation that will help produce the highest success in the birth and sustainability of new businesses through the application of knowledge. After your MBA and bachelor's degree education with the SD Dombo University. We promise to be supportive, fair, 
in our application of policies and regulations, enhance the quality of your learning experience, and we hope that you will reciprocate by learning hard. Thank you very much, and may God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, Professor Flipduku Osei. It is now time for the matriculation oath. May I invite the Dean, Faculty of Integrated Development Studies, to present his student for the matriculation oath. Thank you, Registrar. Will the first year undergraduate students of the Faculty of Integrated Development Studies please stand for the administration of the matriculation oath? Please, those outside, be attentive and also take part. So you say after me, I solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently to seek the truth and to promote the good of the university in so far as it may lies. And so far as it lies. I will now invite the vice chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university and by the powers vested in me as a vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as senior members in Satu Populari of the Simon Yudon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the Dean, Faculty of Planning and Land Management, to present his students for the matriculation of. Will the first year undergraduate students of the Faculty of Planning and Land Management please sign up? for the demonstration or the matriculation of. Please say after me, I, I and to my happy. solemnly promise, solemnly promise, to observe the regulations of this university. To observe the regulations of this university. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study diligently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university. And to promote 
in so far as he may lies. In so far as he may lies. Why chance You have satisfied the entry requirements of the university and by the powers vested in me as the vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statue populari of the Simon Gildon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the Dean School of Business to present his students for the administration of the matriculation proof. Will the first year undergraduate students of the School of Business please stand for the administration of the matriculation oath? Just once again, you say after me. I, I, Musa Muniru, solemnly promise, solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university, to observe the regulations of this university, and to obey those to whom my obedience is required, and to obey those to whom my obedience is required, to study diligently, study diligently, to seek the truth. Seek the truth and to promote the good of the university and to promote the good of the university in so far as in me lies. So far as in me lies. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university, and by the powers invested in me as a vice chancellor. I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statue populari of the Simon Jordan Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the Dean School of Education and Lifelong Learning to present his students for the administration of the matriculation of. Thank you. Will the first year undergraduate students of the School of Education and Lifelong Learning please stand and remain standing for the administration of the matriculation oath? Please can they say after me, I solemnly promise, Sorry, me promise to observe the regulations of this university. To observe the regulations of this university. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study indigently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university and to promote the good of the university. In so far as in me lies. In so far as in me lies. Once again, I will invite the vice chancellor. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university. And by the powers vested in me as a vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statue populari of the Simon Jordan Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the Dean, Faculty of Social Science and Arts, to present his students for the matriculation proof. Will the first year undergraduate students of the Faculty of Social Science and Arts 
Please stand for the administration of the matriculation notes. Please can they say after me? I solemnly promise to observe the regulations of the university, to obey those to whom my obedience is required. Those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study diligently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university. And to promote the good of the university. In so far as in main lines. In so far as in main lines. Vice Chancellor. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university. And by the powers vested in me as the vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statute popularity of the Simon Dildon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the Dean Faculty of Public Policy and Governance to present his students for the matriculation of. May I invite all students of the Faculty of Public Policy and Governance to please stand for the matriculation vote. I solemnly promise, solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university. To observe the regulations of this university. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study diligently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university and to promote the good of the university. In so far as in main lines. In so far as in main lines. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university. And by the powers vested in me as a vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statue popularity of the Simon Diodon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. May I invite the team, Faculty of Information and Communication Technology, to present his students for the matriculation of. Thank you, Registrar. Um, may I request all the first years of the Faculty of Information and Communication Technology to be up to stand up for the oath. The very first ones. Please say after me. I. I, Dari Deborah. Solemnly promise. Solemnly promise. To observe the regulations of this university. To observe the regulations of this university. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study diligently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university. And to promote the good of the university. In so far as in main lives. In so far as in main lives.
you have satisfied the entry requirements of this university. And by the powers vested in me as a vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statue populari of the Simon Diodon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations. It's now time for the graduate students. So we have graduate students in all the faculties, including the weekend MBA students in the WA Center, Bologna Center, and then the Tamale Center. So all of you are going to take it. I will now invite the dean, graduate school, to present the students for the matriculation of. Thank you. Will the first year graduate students of the School of Graduate Studies and Research please stand for the administration of the matriculation oath? Thank you very much. So we want to start. As I said, the graduate students, we have graduate students of all the faculties, and then the weekend MBA students, we have War Center. Bolga Center and the Tamale Center. So they are all taking part. The Tamale and the Bolga Centers, they are taking part through the Zoom. So please, let's start. I, I Adam solemnly promise, solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university. To the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom my obedience is required. And to obey those to whom my obedience is required. To study diligently. To study diligently. To seek the truth. To seek the truth. And to promote the good of the university. And to promote the good of the university. In so far as in me lies. In so far as in me lies. Vice Chancellor. You have satisfied the entry requirements of this university. And by the powers vested in me as a vice chancellor, I hereby matriculate you as junior members in statute populari of the Simon Diodondongo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. Congratulations to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. We have come to the end of the program.
on behalf of university management and academic board, I declare this year's matriculation ceremony duly dissolved. Please may we rise for convocation recession. After the procession, uh, the recession, please wait for some announcements. You, you may sit down, please. You remain here. So after this program, you stay here and sign. Then Faculty of Social Science, you will be behind this hall. ICT will be at Lecture Hall 4A. Lecture Hall 4 is the new building there. Then Faculty of Public Policy, Pavilion 6. The pavilion is at the other side. Faculty of Planning and Land Management, you go to auditorium. I'm also to announce to you that the senior hall tutors here, I should inform you, those who are still in need of accommodation, they have accommodation at Jubilee Hall for both male and female. If you're still having accommodation challenges, you can go to Jubilee Hall, they will sort you out. Also, Agri Development Bank people are outside here to open accounts free for students who want to open account. So I think that's the announcement we have for now. Thank you very much. Please make sure you sign 